Hey folks, Floss Asia Tay. So I got a piece of uh, piece of Kia Cook here. By face I made the other day. And we're gonna see if we can make something out of it. I had mine was a Dalton that is subject to change I broke a couple more. I uh, just too napping too hard and too fast a billet swing and you name it. One of them I just hit a platform. I was way too high to be hitting. I don't know what I was thinking, but you know that happens sometimes, especially <laughs> for me. Start hitting something I shouldn't be hitting. It's got this dip along here. Got a new UPS driver and he just came in. He's been running this route not very long. 
He just came in and told me he's ran over five dogs in the last three days. And uh, I told him, I said, well, let me tell you something. Every other UPS driver been running this route for the last 14 years I've been here, and they never hit a single dog. So you need to ask yourself who the problem is. <laughs> and you're going to goof around, do that crap to the wrong dog, and someone's going to not be very happy with you. The guy's an idiot. All I can say is UPS must be hard up. I mean, not to be mean, but I've talked to the guy and he'd be better off not doing what he's doing. <laughs> on it. I just lost a chunk out of it. So I was out gathering a few thistles today. It's still a little bit early, I think. Not quite mature yet. I wonder why I'm collecting thistles. It's for uh, blowgun darts. Harvest the fiber out of them to I've actually never done it before, so we'll all do it together. Well, 
Learning the crafts of the past. Try and get it regularized. This is just a piece of plastic, uh, it's not darling or whatever that uh, stuff is, it's just plastic and I got a, a large welding rod in there and it works great for picking. Picking those little boogers off there. Nice. I could have kept this thing a little more organized when I was spinning it, but I sure didn't.
some blue top there. I'll try and go with a little smaller, smaller uh, indirect stick, a little less aggressive maybe. Yep, I believe me and the UPS guy is going to have it falling out. I don't know if UPS still can't get no trucks or what, but he pulls in here. I was in Mexico one time in Juarez, Mexico, and uh, I don't know how Juarez is now, but that's a place you just really don't need to be. <laughs> it is, uh, at least back then, this was quite a few years ago, but what a cesspool but that ups truck reminds me of that because uh they pull in here this truck ain't got no muffler on it i mean it's loud like you can't believe here i'm coming from 10 miles away that's probably what's got all the dogs all upset that he keeps running over He's running around with no muffler on <laughs> but uh yeah Anyways, I don't know if they can't, I know during COVID they couldn't get any, any new trucks and whatever else, but they were buying old U-Haul trucks and FedEx was using U-Haul trucks and I'm either going to lose part of the base or I got to bring this side way in quite a bit. Mostly because the base on this is is already contracting, so I'm wondering what else I can make that uh, because the way that I yeah I have to come, well I mean I guess I can I guess I could come in that far. There won't be nothing wrong with it. I, I guess I'll do that. a piece of that Kia cook that I, it doesn't show up on the camera but it's got kind of a blue gray streak through it um, it's pretty cool looking in person and this stuff is like a really high grade high grade Burlington is what it naps like and feels like Super nice material though. 
I do have about 20 pounds. Oh, no, I got more than that. I probably got 40 pounds or so of some that's like this. And it has inclusions in it. Now, it naps real nice through those uh, inclusions. But uh, this isn't something I'm going to send out. Uh, if you if you get this if you order Kia Cook, you're gonna get that kind of material, right? I don't know how well you can see that. You know my light's not on. Let me fix that. I'm not sure why it's not on. Okay. Well, if that's any better, but you can see that there. I think the shine in it. But uh, which this is shiny too, but it has these inclusions in it. But I kind of really like it because it adds some character to it. And I I haven't got a piece thin yet, but I'm going to. And uh, I kind of like it, but I'm not going to send any of this out. So if you order some, it won't be like this. It'll be a nice, clean material like this. And there will be buy faces going on the website this week. So if anyone's interested. Why here's someone else here. Yeah, I hear someone else here. I've got okay, I'm back. My neighbor come over and had to go help them weld up a gate so Getting closer over there. Okay. Let me uh, do some adjusting here.
as narrow as we're or down there at the end we probably would be better off making something different but just leaving it an agate basin I guess would be another option That'd probably be the wisest choice right now. I still gotta go pack the bag and I actually need to call and change my reservation for <coughs> for my camping for uh, for an extra night. Um, for the nap in because it actually runs an extra day so I believe it actually starts on a Thursday now, I don't expect there to be a lot of people on Thursday as like there will be over the weekend but I like to be there for the whole thing and uh, if I'm there early then I'll probably get to do some napping because I could sure use the practice. I'm still very just kind of I don't know if I'm just rusty or I don't know going through a spell. I don't know what. But I don't know what happens to me sometimes when I start struggling.
wonder how many times my head's been in the video today. I don't know what is the deal. It was never a problem, then all of a sudden just... Hey, look, his head's in every frame. I'm not sure why that is happening. I don't even know how many pieces of this I got to put together. At least three or four. I don't even know what all happened. UPS showed up. A neighbor showed up. So our little town, Idaville, is supposed to be the best place in the entire world to see, apparently, from what I understand. To see the eclipse and they are expecting a lot of people to show up to witness this eclipse and, uh, I don't know any of that's fact I just know that that's what everyone's saying I don't know because I don't get any news so in fact the other day my uh, we were having a family get together and and they started talking about the uh, ship that hit a bridge, and I, I have no idea what they was talking about. <laughs> no clue. Well, apparently a big old Korean tanker ship or something crashed into a bridge somewhere. Killed a bunch of people. But you want to know how checked out from the news I am? That's how checked out I am. I didn't even know what happened. <laughs> And I am perfectly okay with that. So, let's see, Dalton Classic, a medium to large size fin, uh, fishtail uh, point. Many uh, examples are finely serrated and exhibit excellent flaking. Why mess that up? No, the flake is not that bad. And it appears to be, I mean, on most of them appears to be fairly random on these ones I'm looking at that are 10,000 years old. <laughs> I think I have some Daltons coming in the, in the mold, so. And they're ground. Faces are ground. I hadn't read that in a while, so I just wanted to read it and see what it, what it was. Do we want to put some serrations in it? Probably should put a few in it on.
make it a little pointy. I probably shouldn't change the midstream. I don't know what I'm doing here. I gotta change the <clears throat> change my nail in that other one, <coughs> which I knew that, and I didn't do it before I started. So that out just a little bit.
I got so many things on my mind right now, it's just ridiculous. It's one of those times, you know. I'm out here napping and should be talking and stuff, but I got a... Uh, I'm in the middle of a project in the leather shop in my mind. <laughs> I don't know if you guys checked out that uh, rifle, the beaver tail rifle sling I just made. I posted a video of it. It's on here. Um, but, uh, that's a pretty doggone sweet rifle sling. Um, they're obviously not cheap because beaver tails are not cheap. They're kind of crazy. Go on, Mommy. I'm almost done here, buddy. Go on, then we'll play when I'm done. That ain't bad. I think I'm gonna call it quits there. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's pretty thin. Well, you know, it could it could use a little more edge work. It does. It needs a little more edge work. Trying to want run away and go in the house. <laughs> but it does need a little more edge work. That's better.
see, let's see how long to see. The problem with this one is, is this thing's drilled way down here. I really need to re-drill this. I've said that about 50 times. This is one I bought. Why they would drill it that far down, I have no idea. But they did. And so far down, then the screws don't don't hit it. It's a sharp burger, and I can tell you that. This is the one I should have been doing the barbs with, or the serrations, the lower ones. Got a much better nail in it. All right, that's all I'm gonna do to it. I like it. It's a uh, Daltonish. It's pretty nice. I like it a lot, actually. So here's some Daltons here, Dalton Classics. I suppose that's some of them aren't. That's some of them are really serrated. Got a lot of serrations. I'd imagine like that one did. Uh, before it was you know thousands of years old <laughs> i'd imagine these serrations were probably pretty substantial um, yeah i like it Might be, you know, if those kicked out a little bit more, maybe, you know. I don't know. 
I hate to start messing with it now. But just a little bit can make them appear to kick out some, you know. I just keep breaking that one off just a little bit, but I keep breaking it off. It's probably not full with it. Should have just left it alone. left it alone what was I thinking Yeah, now I'm just messing with it. Alright. We'll call that good. It's good enough. All right, well, there it is, our little Kia Cook Dalton. I'm not exactly sure how long it took because uh, this is in like five parts or something like that, but, you know, she's all right. It's fairly straight, tip to base. I mean, the edge could be a little bit better, but it's pretty nice. I like it. All right, y'all uh, hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate you watching. And we'll see you when I get back from Mississippi. Keep napping.